Hey guys, this is Brainstraw, and welcome to my carries commentary video of a fight that my corp and some friends had. I've had a lot of requests for a video like this, but I just never got around to it. In this clip today, I'm going to explain to you why I make the decisions that I do, how to prioritize damps, and just some general insight on my decision making. Our fleet consists of 100 men VNIs plus support against Pandemic Horde Ferroxes plus some kitchen sink stuff. I hope that you can enjoy. Before we engage the fleet in front of us, we decide to hold our cloaks and come up with a game plan. The first thing I notice in their fleet is a rapier and an arazu, two ships that can really harm our gang if not dealt with accordingly. I am one of the first to decloak, to try and draw fire away from our Slovian eyes, and I immediately put two damps on the rapier to stop it from webbing my fleet on the burnout, and one on the arazu. If you take a look at my watch list, you see that immediately one of our VNI pilots is alpha off the field. The rest of our fleet was able to make it out of danger for now, but another one of our VNI pilots calls on TeamSpeak that he is wed by the rapier. I quickly have to switch my third damp over to the rapier before he gets quickly cut down by the Ferox blob. Once everyone calls it their free, I take two damps off the rapier and put them on the Arazu that is trying to counter damp me. I had noticed that this pilot must not have very good skills, as his damps never broke my lock, so I decided to only leave one damp on him and put the other two back on the rapier. We notice an Orthrus that is very far out of position, and we decide to quickly kill him as he is too far to receive reps from his Lodgy. I start to burn over, as the only thing tackling him right now is an Alton Scepter. He will notice that I don't switch a damp over to the Orthrus to protect myself from his RLMLs, and that is because I know that he is dying quickly enough that he would not be able to lock me and kill me in time anyways. As the carries pilot in your gang, you are constantly going to have to make decisions that will provide the most effective outcome for your fleet. If I had decided to take a damp off the Rapier of the Arazu, which is what most people would do, the fight could have gone much differently. Throughout this clip, you'll notice that I'm staying at the very edge of my heated long point range, which is 81 kilometers. This is because medium railguns track MWDing ships very well, and since I physically cannot damp all the ships in their fleet, if the Ferroxes do decide to shoot me, I will be able to minimize the damage that I receive from them and warp out if I need to. Right now, we are just trying to pick off low EHP ships, as Pandemic Cord was smartly staying balled up together, and not letting anyone drift out of Lodgy range to allow us to kill some of their more useful ships. Right here, they decide to ping down below, to try and get a better angle on us and re-engage. I quickly lock anything that I can, and have to spam my point if I want to grab anything. I am able to tackle a hurricane that was too slow to warp, and we hold him until the rest of the blob warps back up to us. In small kiting gangs, most of the time we never have a Lodgy ship with us. If you look though, you will see that I broadcasted for shield. This is a very good tactic to let the rest of your fleet know where you are in space, so they don't have to look for your bracket, and instead you can just say on TeamSpeak, I broadcast myself, come to me. Now that the fleet has warped back up, my first priority is to locate the Arazu and Rapier from earlier on my overview, and reapply my damps before they can harm anyone in my gang. We finish off the straggler hurricane that I tackled, and then discuss what to do next. I lock up the Cerberus as I saw that he is moving towards our fleet, and since his ship is able to project enough DPS to kill me at very far ranges, I need to take care of him. I remember from earlier that the Arazu pilot had low skills, and I am not worried about him trying to damp me, so I decide to take the damp off him and apply it to the Serb instead. Right here is a very critical part of the fight. Pandemic Horde were able to warp right on top of where myself and a few of my fleetmates were. Doing this, it broke the lock I had on the rapier, forcing me to heat my MWD and burn away, and I have to relock the rapier and apply all my damps before he grabs one of our nearby DPS ships. After we had repositioned, we see a Caracal up near the bubbles and decide to go quickly kill him. Was it a two wheels? One a mirror. 
After we had killed the Caracal, the rapier had begun what looked like to be tunnel vision. He separated very far from his fleet, and we made the decision to all in on him and see if we could kill him. It turned out that he was an armor tank and a shield fleet, which made the decision for us easier to just keep our DPS on him, as we knew his armor would chunk and he would die eventually. This stabber starts shooting at me, and generally I would have used a damp to protect myself, but his DPS was very low, and I knew I could either just burn out of his autocannon range, or rep until the rapier died. I accidentally burned out of range of the rapier while I was getting away from the stabber, and have to quickly heat my point and reestablish tackle. With the rapier down, this made our fleet's lives a lot easier. It freed up my damps, allowing me to apply them to the Ferroxes, and our hundred of men VNIs being able to just easily sig tank the railguns. We start locking up as much as we can, as we had a feeling that with their long-range Webstead, they knew they wouldn't be able to hit us and would disengage. As predicted, the fleet starts to warp off towards station, and we tackle what we can. We end up messing up the spread of our points, so we don't get as many of them as we could have, but in the end, it was still an awesome fight. I hope that this video was educational, as well as entertaining. A lot of people say that flying damp is easy, but in a small gang versus a blob, it actually becomes one of the most difficult jobs. You're constantly having to make on-the-fly decisions, cycling your damps to not only protect your fleet, but yourself as well. If you want to see more commentary on PvP videos, just send me a mail in-game. I hope you all enjoyed, and fly safe.